Welcome to Check Your Leader TV. Today we are presenting Game 3 of the Capturing Caesars Camp Point Size Campaign, Up the Route Nationale. So this was Game 2. Um, this was the game where um, um, I didn't push too hard um, and I was willing to forego the uh, French armour for game four. Um, whether or not that was a good decision or a bad decision, I guess we'll find out later on. But that's what I did. I, 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 I was not interested in um, having my force morale crushed any more than it was already. I was always already in negative terrain. And um, I, the idea of having a minus two to force morale uh, as an attacker is just suicidal as far as I was concerned. So now we're up to this game here. Um, it's an interesting one insofar as um, it's a blitzkrieg scenario, but with a bit of a twist because the other way the Brits can win, other than getting two units over the German baseline before the Germans can accumulate two Channing Command dice, is, um, and it says so in the umpire notes for this scenario, if I can reduce the German force morale to four, I can still win. Now, the problem with that is Jerry's got to be prepared to come out and fight. And um, if the the Germans play canny, and they don't they don't come out, and they it's it's hard to get them down a four, uh, four uh, four or less morale points. So speed is the essence. So my plan is to um, try and get two units off the base table edge, and I intend to do that by using uh, universal or Bren carriers. Um, I'm going to spend the nine points of my 12 support points for a section of Bren carriers. So three universal carriers. That will give me a free senior leader to command them, which makes coordinating those three carriers much easier. So that's nine points. I'll take, spend another two points on a two-inch mortar. That takes me to 11, which leaves me one point, which will be an adjutant because that will allow me to get my platoon sergeant, platoon commander, and... Uh, the carriers on the table um, as quickly as I possibly can. With three senior leaders, that should give me a command and control advantage over the Germans with their two senior leaders. Um, the Germans, I suspect, um, with six points, um, I suspect they'll either go um, heavy with four to... Uh, with wire entanglements, minefields, and the like, um, or um, maybe they'll spend four points on another an additional German section, but I suspect they'll spend three on a flamethrower, um, and that will leave them three points. Maybe, maybe wire, maybe two landmines. Uh, sorry, two minefields, and uh, maybe they'll have an adjutant as well, or maybe a medic or something like that. Um, but yeah, my biggest fear is they'll go with a forward observer for five points um, and uh, try to bring down an artillery barrage and that would really slow me up. Pre-game barrage is also a possibility. Uh, that would make me having to dice to get guys on. That could really disrupt my deployment. So a pre-game barrage is also would be a terrible um, thing for me to have to deal with. Pre-game promotion would be two points. That would leave four. Yeah, again, flamethrower um, or another German section because that would be a lot of firepower that has, that, that's more, you know, you can, you, a flamethrower can only fire three times. It's a team, so it makes it brittle. Um, a section, you know, 10 men, um, firepower of around about 14 um, and you've got to attrit the whole lot of them. Um, the other thing is, of course, maybe entrenchments. So who knows? But um, yeah, my biggest fear is that they will go with a pre-game barrage. Um, so that's two points because that's going to slow me up and all the time the Germans are going to be building up chain of command points. Um, so uh, yeah, I mean, th th these Blitzkrieg scenarios can be over very quickly if lots of fives are rolled. Okay. 
Okay, so let's have a quick look at the terrain for the game today. Um, there's a road here. Um, there's wheat fields. There's a wooded area. This is actually not a tree line. It's dense hedge. Uh, these are dense hedge. This is a uh, uh, privet like well-maintained hedges. There's another little well-maintained hedge there. Um, little individual trees. Um, they don't count for anything, really. Um, the This will provide light cover for stationary troops. Um, but if the troops are moving in it, for that phase that they move, they're classed as um, in open. So, uh, yeah, not a lot of cover there. Um, this cultivated land here is it's nothing. It's just... You know, tilled soil, it doesn't have any effect on movement at all. But this sunken lane does, because no matter what happens, I'm going to have to try and get my carriers across here. Now, I've been led to believe by the authors of the author that you can actually drive down here and then cross at this point here. Um, you can see the road goes up. There's still part of the road there. Um, so I could drive down here and cross there, because it's not sunken around here. The lane obviously meets the road there, so it can't possibly be sunken, you know, all the way to the road. Um, but the other option, of course, is I deploy this side of it. If I have to cross this hedge line here, and I probably will go with coming down through this way because otherwise I might get a bottleneck trying to go down here with the carriers, then I have to dice for crossing a linear obstacle. Um, so, yeah, crossing that, there's a chance of bogging, but hey, I'd have to roll a double uh, on 2d6. It's not unheard of, but, you know, luck's got to be with me at some point. So I'm going to hope that I get some luck crossing this sunken lane. Once I get across, um, it's going to be hell bent for the leather for the, for the baseline. Prior to that, I'll deploy my mortars in the sunken lane somewhere with some infantry uh, with an infantry section uh, either before in front of them or, or um, around them and I'll lay as much smoke as I possibly can um, in front of the German jump off points wherever they may be uh, obviously they're going to be around here somewhere unless he goes really deep so I'll lay smoke uh, assemble the carriers get them across and then drive through the smoke as fast as I can and just try to get off the table that's my that's my plan so again um, Four support, three a section of carriers. That's nine points. Uh, a two-inch mortar that makes that takes up to eleven, and then an adjutant, so I can get everything on the table. So that's the terrain. Um, that's my plan. Um, let's get it on. All right. So we both are a force morale eight. Yeah. Um, Rowan's gone with a minefield and a minefield, and a minefield so far. So, and I've got no engineers, so I won't be faffing around with minefields. Yeah, so that's to basically minimise movement from Scott, one on the open end by the forest, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So you just can't scoop down there at high speed. Yeah. And one at the intersection of the road the and sunken why, lane. Why, why wouldn't you mine the road? Yeah. In German. Yeah, yeah. All right, then. So we're both at Force Morale 8. I rolled a 1, Rowan rolled really low as well. Oh, And then, um... That's it, we've done our four selections. First roll of the game. First roll of the game. Let's Done. get on. Yeah, okay, so what about, what's my full, what am I? I got a five, a three, a three, oh, a, a one, one, and a two. One, two, three, three, three. five. Oh, what? All right. That's not ugly. All right, so on a three, they've come in on Overwatch. They've come in on Overwatch. The mortar teams come in, lobbed around the smoke downrange, and then on a two, this section's deployed here. And um, there's a round of smoke that was bang on target from the mortar. That's it, because I used, and I've got a five, which is my chain of command die point. Um, that's us. Now it's, uh, yeah, it's Jerry. Oh, okay, so um, an RSM with a hat's a, a, a five. Yeah, a it? five. What's and then the go, the go, where it says go. Oh, it's a six, isn't it? Yeah, they're, they're the, um, uh... okay, so you've got a five. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, look at that, Yahtzee. Yeah. Is that Yahtzee? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, so it's a straight. Oh, it's a straight. Oh, what's Yahtzee? Uh, All the same or something? Well, hopefully six sixes will be enough. Never. Yeah. Uh, Rowan didn't do anything. He passed on it. He just took his chain command point, mm. which is a sensible thing to do. I've got a six, which is no good to anyone. That's a two, a two, a one, 
And a two. Oh, oh yeah, three twos. Yeah, three twos and all. Okay. Well, you can make a, a, a three, if you yeah. so desire. I could, I could go three, and then I could go two, we could two. Use, we could use a team, heaven forbid. Um, a three, or I could, oh, yeah, I could bring on another team, which I will. I'll just bring on another team, I think. Okay. Shall we do that? So I'll deploy my second mortar. So the mortar <laughs> round was on target. We've got line of sight, and I rolled the three. Yeah, that's pretty much it, I so, think. yeah. Um, it's uh, one, two, three, if you... If it's one and two, if you don't have line of sight, it'll go astray. Yep. If not, it would be six over. Yeah. Would have just been... Long. Yeah, whizzing away in the woods. Okay. Ooh. Six, two, 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 three. It's oh. an interesting roll. No. Nothing and good. funnily enough, Ron passes again. Why wouldn't he? Oh, why am I rolling that guy? I don't know. Okay, go, go. All right, I've got a double face. I'm just wondering what do you think now? I've got one, two, and a one. Right, one, two, one. What am I going to do? You know. All right, so what now I drop you? a die. So I brought on a Bren carrier in the far corner over there. And there he is. And uh, I dropped another smoke round out there from my second mortar that came in. All right. Um, all right, so we drop a die because we're civilised here. Can't roll that one again. You've got to yeah. go and... Uh... I've, got a, I've got a six and a four. And a one? I've got a two. Oh, is that a four? Yeah, that's the four with the oh. pip. It's an officer. Oh, and another one. So two fours. Yeah, two fours. And a two. And a two. All right. Four, four, two. Yeah, not many odd numbers. All right, okay. Old, but... So with that, I will bring on my two commander, I guess. I mean, it doesn't take much for the whole thing to come tearing apart. So the other four was to bring on that carrier there. He, he ordered his carrier to move forward. Um, the only other thing I did is I fired two rounds of smoke because I brought the platoon commander on. Over here, he's came on, he told the two mortars to fire, they put smoke on target out there. Uh, the section in the, the sunken lane has moved six inches up the sunken lane. They didn't go tactically, so they're still in hard cover, but not impervious. And the carriers go on like, a, like the clappers. And then it's uh, Rowan's phase. Oh, whatever. Oh, we're gonna have no, it's, uh, it's Rowan's phase now. Oh, you got a double phase and a five. And what's that? A, a two, one and a two. One and a two. So we'll make the five and the double phase disappear. Yeah. Some up to two. Not quite ending the game. Hmm. That'd be interesting. A three or a one and a two. Mm. What shall I deploy to ruin your day? Well, I could deploy a squad. You could. And then shot. Could. Could. There's, there's a big gap there, someone kind of left me a gap to go thicka thicka thicka. That's right. But then again, you can shoot back. That's right. Oh, you're an overwatch. But that's okay. Six puts me here. Mm. Jeez, I can actually shoot. Not th oh, I could shoot that squad. You could. Nice. You could shoot this squad. Yeah, but if yeah, I shoot that squad, shoot squad, well, that's well, that squad, <laughs> but then you just yeah. sort of just all target on it, which is not yeah. that much fun. I could put one squad down there and shot you on, then you'll shot back. Mm -hmm. I'd say two squads on Overwatch. So I shoot one, then you shoot two. But it'd be good if I could deploy like two squads to shoot you, then you shoot yeah. two back. And that'd be nicer than one on two. That's right. But you know. Okay, mm -hmm. so a three, these guys have come on. Uh, and they're two inches back from the hedge. No one can see them. All right. What have we got there? All right. Two fives? Two fives. That's their handy. Yeah, for making and, um, four. What's that? And a one and a three. three. Oh, tantalize you. So yeah, one squad's been deployed from the last phase. Nothing's happened this phase. Okay, I got a four, a three, one, one, one. All right. Oh, what's your mortar's head? Right, so yep. Yeah. Four. All right. Decisions, decisions. All right. So um, on the four. Um, that carrier, uh, the, the CO's carrier, or the, the section commander carrier, went uh, ordered the other carrier to come up. A three brought the other carrier on. Two ones, we've lobbed smoke rounds out there. One was off target. You get that on the big jobs. Um, leaves me a one, which I can't use. Oh, I could get a... Nah, I can't use. That's it. We're done. Over to what do you got? You got uh, four, four, two, two, two. Uh -huh. hmm. All right.
right. Four, four, two, two, two. Obviously, Roland's not doing anything with that. I've got a six, a four over here. A one, two, three, four. One, a two, two, and a one. So it's oh, one, so two, 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 one, four. Oh, yeah. It's a little bit. Um, six, no good. Okay, what am I going to do? All right, now? so um, on the four, the platoon, the, six, the carrier section commander ordered these all guys to go through here, which they're doing. Um, the platoon commander ordered the, uh, one of the mortars to lob around and ordered these guys to move down the trail. Um, and he moved himself into the, the, the sunken lane and that mortar lobbed around out. They were all, both the mortars were off target. It'll all end on this one. Yeah, so now it's Jerry's turn. Dash it all. It's a double phase. And two, two fives. fives. That's what I like. And a four. That's the numbers I yeah. like. So that's a good roll, actually. It takes me to a cock. You've got a chain of command die. Yes, I have, a, I have one die. You have one die. And, and then four. a four. Well, I could bring Mr. It's an important one, but I see no particular reason to bring yes. this important one. So you could just drop a die and roll. I should four. drop a die. That's how we roll fives, yet. I guess. Yes, five fives. Yeah, that would be, would be pretty awesome, wouldn't it? Oh, I got another one. One five, a six, two threes. Two threes is something useful. Yep. Uh, nothing occurred from that. Oh, I got a chain die. Yeah, you got a chain of command. So it's six one six one with the chain chain of command points so far. And the race. Yes. yes. Oh. All right. So I got a five. It takes me up to a two. And then I got two two one one. All right. So I can create. Four. It's pretty much just. Because I think you can it? burn a dice. Yeah. You can burn one of your chain dice. So take three off you. Two, is it? Or three? Three. I can take three, three chain of command points off you. Oh, that's, that's um, so, yeah, so I think I'll fire my two mortars and then I'll move my uh, brain carrier. The carriers uh, just trundled across uh, the hedge and like the sunken lane there. The two rounds of smoke. Well, you can see where they landed because there's no smoke on them at the moment. Lots uh, of smoke. Yeah, it's just you can just see them. They've landed and the smoke is starting to form there. And funny enough, the carriers are advancing behind the smoke. Yeah, yeah. as you would, just as you would have thought they would have done. Um, and now it is. Um, you so what have you? Your, your, yeah, you're on. Yeah. Okay. What are you, Red Leader? Another two fives. What a mini two is that? Yes, but you're very, very close now. I'm going to have to burn uh, a, my chain of command die, I think. and Drop me three or something? Yeah, well, when you three, finish, you. Because theoretically, if I can get to three in my turn, yeah, yeah, yeah. you're yeah. like, oh, yeah. that's it. Yeah, it's like, mm. You got to do it before, right? That sucks. Yeah, in your turn. Yeah. yeah. So I've got to wait for you to do that. So you got a four and one one. Two ones? Two ones? Yeah, two yeah. Ones. There's a red leader approaching. I don't know. Look at the range finder. It hums. Okay. Uh, I can't see all the smoke and oh, they're getting shot us and oh, it'd be terrible. Um, oh, there's a shitload of smoke there. Mm. Oh. Where's Panzerfaust when you need him? Mm. You can only do this in 1940, you can't do this in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you could. Nothing happening there. Yeah, I need a double face to do something fancy. Four, four, four. Right, <laughs> okay, three fours, fours well, sort of a two, and a go. go. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to burn a chain of command die and take away three points off yours. Okay, so it should be noted that um, I've already got a chain of command die up my sleeve from being successful in scenario one um, when I rescued some plans from a disabled Dame Ladingo. By doing that, it gave me a chain of command die for game number three, which is this one. And by burning a chain of command dice, I can deprive the Germans of three chain of command points. So you're back down to just six. I got a single chain of command dice. Boo. Yeah, I know. And then um, I've got four, four, and a four. All right. So that four is going to be for him. This four is going to be for the platoon sergeant. And this four is going to be for the carrier sergeant. You have lots of fours. You, you are fours everywhere. Yeah, yeah, so the sergeant. Save you two for later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that leaves me a one, obviously, which is the adjutant. Oh, you bought an edgy. Yeah, I bought an edgy. That, that's a good spender point, Scott. Yeah, so I'm going to bring the sergeant. He's going to go... Within six or something. Well, he'll deploy with... There you go, he can hang out with those lads. Yeah, or shall I put him with the mortar? I want to put him back here with the mortars. Yeah, anyway, within four of another year. Very yeah, good. So he'll stay there. 
So he's going to go there, then he's going to tell the mortars to lob a couple of smoke rounds out. As you do. Yeah. You're running out of pucks, Scott. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, it's hard to see anything because there's just so much smoke in the way. <laughs> Pass. All right. Hard to see anything. Okay, so I rolled a four, essentially a four and a two. So the two, this squad here went tactical. They moved tactically. They didn't actually move anywhere because of the, the shock on them, but they're tactical now. And then on the four, all the carriers went flat out. One is just gone bar barreling through here and um, is on that jumper point. This one's on, well, close enough to shut that one down. Yeah. And this one's just going the clappers. Oh, what so that's, that's what they are. How will the Germans do? Well, you know, you could roll enough fives. Oh, no fives. Four, one. No, good enough. Yeah, one, two, two, two. No, I'm talking about fives. If you'd rolled fives. Well, what I could do. Rolled six fives. What I could easily fives. do is end the turn. Make all the smoke yeah, you go could. away. Yep. And then do bad things to you. No, the smoke doesn't leave until the end of the turn. That's all right. Yeah, but you could take all the smoke off. Mm. So you could end the turn and all the smoke, smoke comes off. Which makes you start again. Yeah. Oh, I could just. Wayne Crawler. All right. So That's right, happens on the big days. So Rowan's deployed a flamethrower. And did no hits. <laughs> got 12 dice, got five hits. I rolled no kills, no nothings. Well, sorry, I got three kills, but only count. shocks count. count. So nothing happened no there. Shock. Then over here, he threw two hand grenades at the carrier. One went in, one bounced out. Yep. The only thing that, that resulted from that is we both took one shock, one shock on the carrier and one shock on the infantry when it bounced back to them. That's true. And yeah, I thought maybe one that... carrier damage, one carriage dead, it might have made you slow down. But yeah, yeah. No, nah, just muffed it. So Jerry's pulling out. Yeah. So this was actually incredible. The German flamethrower team deployed, fired 12 dice at a carrier, scored five hits when you know you could expect well they hit on four plus so 50 50 so six hits maybe but yeah five seems reasonable five hits so the carrier had five hits on it had to roll five saves rolled two sixes and a five so they're kills they don't count and a one and a two which are nothing so they don't count so to bail the carrier i needed to have rolled two threes or fours out of the five hits and miraculously uh, the the carrier survived as for the german squad who lobbed two hand grenades at the uh, other carrier they threw two hand grenades one went in the carrier because it's a carrier you double the effect so there was uh, that's a that's four hits within the carrier and that resulted in just one point of shock. The other hand grenade uh, didn't land in the carrier, so it bounced back, landed amongst the Germans, and when it detonated, again, only caused one point of shock. So the, the carrier, the, um, the, the German grenades must have been made out of polystyrene that day. Um, I argue that the, the, the hand grenade must have landed on the other side, um, the, the compartment inside the carrier where there was no crew member, and the uh, the number three in the carrier obviously just grabbed the, the boss's pack, threw it over onto the grenade to muffle the blast. But, um, yeah, amazing. Um, so the the carriers um, survived a flamethrower attack and uh, grenades being lobbed um, at them. So there you go. There you go. So neither of us have suffered any force morale losses whatsoever. Nope. No casualties. Uh, no casualties on anyone. The carriers were, like, starting to burst through the woods when Jerry's gone, let's get the hell out of the woods. And all the infantry are like, well, that was a non-event. So that wraps up the game for today. Um, there was a slight error. Um, Rowan um, played his phase, then pulled out. Uh, and the reality is you have to declare that you're pulling out before you play your phase. Um, so I should have got the next phase. Now, if I'd done that, Rowan might have hung around for um, another phase. Who knows? So um, rather than um, do that, uh, Rowan's just, um, he, he called it, he pulled out and I was, I was, um, I was too preoccupied with, you know, filming and, and, and stuff like that to actually pick up on it. Um, 
it doesn't really matter. It, it doesn't make any difference at the end of the day. So um, that was an interesting game. Uh, no casualties on either side, none. Um, one point of shock was inflicted on one of the carriers. One point of shock was self-inflicted on the German infantry. Um, and yes, uh, narratively, uh, as the carriers came bursting through the smoke, uh, Jerry's decided uh, our, our job here is done. We're getting out of we're getting out of dodge, um, which will mean uh, we now move on to scenario four, and I think that's going to be a real tough nut for the Brits to crack. For a whole variety of reasons which i will expand upon uh, next time we play so until then we'll wrap it up for now and um if you enjoyed this please like share and subscribe it does make uh, a, a big difference um and um uh, that's it from uh from us here uh, rowan and myself at check your leader tv and um until we see you again next time you were quite